Hello Gamer, today we'll show you how to easily repair a USB headphone connector at home. Do it yourself and save money instead of buying new headphones. This tutorial is suitable for any USB headphones, mouses, keyboards or gaming headsets with microphones. Today patient is this cute pink Razer Kraken Kitty USB gaming headsets. He was USB jack my grandmother damaged while playing Worms 2 Armageddon on PC. As you can see, the current USB connector is completely destroyed, it's broken, and the headset no longer works. To repair this damaged USB plug, you will need to buy a replacement USB connector. The link to it is in the video description. You will also need a soldering kit, some heating tubing, and super glue, which you can borrow from your grandmother. The first step is to cut off the damaged USB a few centimeters from the plug itself. Then use a flame to seal the fabric sleeving, keeping it from untwist. Next hold the cable near the headphone housing and stretch cable. This will release any excess rubber and fabric sleeving, increasing the headphone's lifespan. If you don't need the cable fixing rubber, you can leave it off. I will put it back on if it was already there. The next step is to carefully remove the cable's outer jacket without damaging the internal wires. Separate the cable shield wires and the foil screen film, then twist the shield wires together. Cut off the screen film, separate the fabric wires from the colored wires and remove the fabric wires as they are not needed. You can use a flame to clean the wires of any fabric remnants. Check if the headphone cable fits in the new replacement connector and check the two parts of the connector can be joined together. If necessary, trim any excess plastic so they fit properly. Here are the USB jack pinouts. The first pin on the right is 5 volt power, usually a red wire. The next pin is data minus, typically a white wire. The third pin is data plus, usually a green wire. The last pin of the left side is a ground wire, often black but can vary in colors. In my case all the wire colors match, next thin ends of all the wires. This step is critical as it makes the wires easier to solder to the USB connector. Also thin the USB connector contacts and the side contact where the USB cable shield wire will be soldered. Cut a small length of the heating tubing and stretch it so that it fits over the USB plug. Slide this tubing onto the cable before soldering, as it cannot be added later. Cut the excess length of all wires. The thin net part should be just long enough to solder to the USB plug contacts. Now solder all the wires. Start with the ground wire, usually black. Then proceed with the data plus wire, green data minus wire, white, and finally the 5 volt power wire red. Ensure there is no third circuit between these contacts during soldering. Finally, cut the excess length of the shield wire and solder it to the side metal part. Apply super glue where the USB plug metal part and the cable attach. Insert the metal part and cable into the plug housing and use a clamp to hold them in the place. Apply more super glue to secure the metal part. Then use your grandfather's nail polish to coat all the contacts. This helps prevent short circuits in the future. Apply small dots of glue around the plastic part. Press the two parts together tightly and use clamps to hold them in place. Once the glue has dried, install the heat shrink tubing to provide extra support and durability for the cable. Cut off a large piece of heat shrink tubing, stretch it, and install it over the USB connector. And that's it! Well done! You fixed the USB headphone plug and saved a lot of money by not buying new headphones. This method can also be used to repair other USB devices, such as keyboards and mics, as the USB standard and wiring are the same. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to post them below this video, and I will try to help you. Good luck!